<laughs> Good morning. Sorry there's no uh, music. Sorry there's no music. Maybe I should turn on a little bit of music here, huh? We'll go see if we can find some ill hop music. I don't even know what this is. Gonna go to the station. Calming cinematics. I don't know what that means. Chill piano. I don't even think I'll be mostly used listening to this music. It'll just be for the people need something to listen to because they're bored. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I am. Uh, <clears throat> Welcome to the Welcome. deep end. How are you doing today? I almost fell out of my pocket. The first thing I needed. Renegade to Slayer do today. Welcome zero. to the deep end. Hey, Take what's it. up, Renegade Slayer? Renegade Slayer I've been uh, secretly lurking in all Welcome. of your streams. How are you doing today? Hoping you make it to the old affiliate status. How are you coming on that? You need more you need more friends and mothers. Renegade Slayer <laughs> underscore zero. Set okay. Drinking the strawberry kiwi rogue energy today. It's beautiful. It's actually the best flavor in the world. I made the mistake of getting black cherry. I thought that I liked black cherry as much as I liked strawberry kiwi, but I don't. I'm just waking up. I know it's 11.22, but I was up until 5 in the morning putting together miniatures for this miniatures game that I'm playing called Blood Bowl. It's a fantasy football, but not really fantasy football. It's for Warhammer nerds and miniatures nerds. If you've ever heard of anything from Renegade Games Workshop, underscore zero said yes. <sighs> Renegade Slayer underscore zero said W H yes. <laughs> um, plan to just get to it opening my box last night i kind of technically opened it because fridays are or every other friday is the league night where you go to the local game store and you get to play with your blood bowl team i didn't have my blood bowl team i just had my some old lord of the rings miniatures but this the dungeon bowl box and it's kind of expensive but technically for what you get in it it is like the cheapest way to get an army get the blood bowl second season edition they recently in 2020 came out with second season edition and it is blood bowl 2020 kind of a, a little updated rule set so you kind of need the rules this box comes with the rules <laughs> Set, are you going to get the new game? Uh, when Blood Bowl 3 comes out, I'll probably get Blood Bowl 3. But right now, technically, Blood Bowl 3 is... It's going to be Blood Slayer Bowl 2020 underscore rules. Said and move. Renegade <laughs> no. Slayer underscore zero. Said no what? No. Renegade Slayer underscore zero. Said Warhammer 40k? Oh... 
I am not a Warhammer nerd. Uh, the only the thing that got me into miniatures was at a yard sale. I came across a Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring strategy battle game, or I don't know what it was called, but it was called Fellowship of the Ring miniatures game. It's from Games Workshop, and I, w I had that little book, and I was like, this looks awesome. I want to do this. So I had that little dream of mine, and then I was cheap, so I went online on eBay and started looking at Lord of the Rings miniatures, and I started collecting those. So I have a lot of used Lord of the Rings miniatures, and then in like 2018, maybe 2017, they came out with a, a Rohirrim box set that had all the updated rules because they keep on updating the strategy battle game for Lord of the Rings. They first had Lord of the Rings, then they had The Hobbit. Now they have Middle Earth strategy battle game, and I bought everything that I could get for that. I'm never able to play it anywhere, but I bought everything. So I have a bunch of those. I painted like <clears throat> maybe 30 of them total. So I took them to play last night. Stand-ins for my Blood Bowl team. But where's the box? This box comes with a bunch of green orcs. Let's see if I can <clears throat> green orcs. I wonder if I could actually uh, come out of here, come down here, check me out. Way too close, way too zoomed in. If I actually opened her like this, you can see all of these fun little things to remove. You you guys into these? Cause I hate this. It took me like three hours to get my whole chaos team out of the sprues. We've got like a bunch of orc stuff. That's why it's green. I think it's for people who they really do not want to paint these. They they just take them green and they have green versus red. But these orcs are kind of my style. Kind of, I think it's a black orc team. They might have the little goblins on them, which aren't really my style. But I played against an orc team, regular orc team, and I think that's the team I really wanted. <clears throat> I wonder if I could put these together and uh, call it a regular orc team. Please, may I? Mother, may I? And this red team is Imperial Nobility, and they have. Bunch of crazy falconry uh, motifs and big feather plume helmets that I kind of hate. But they're a human team. They're pretty well balanced, and that's what I like about them. I think these are there's an elf and dwarf referee in blue. Pretty cool. <coughs> These, I don't know why they're in sprues, um, but there is some kind of distance markers. This one is if the ball goes out, where it scatters when it comes back on the field, where the ball scatters. In general, I thought that there were more, I was hoping there would be more little tokens and markers for them. Oh, there are. Oh, they come with a team. Little circular. There's Blood Bowl on one side, or the BB. A little orc symbol. Where the heck did it go? There it is. Orc symbol. Got those. Which I might. I, I really need. I really need them. That's kind of why I bought the boxes. I need tokens. I need all kinds of stuff. This is. I didn't expect to have a whole. I should have expected to have a whole handful of sprues. There we go. On the camera. Nice. All right. 
we have to angle this better? We have to angle this better. I don't know how. Sorry. Like, this is the perfect angle for my desk. But it's not the perfect angle. Camera. That sucks. But you know what? Y'all are going to have to deal with it. Turn the camera. Oh, yeah. Just a little slip of paper. Actually. It tells you everything in here. Oh, nope. It shows you all the teams so that you can get really jealous of the teams that exist and want to buy them. Here's the team I bought, the Chaos Chosen. I have that box. Chaos Chosen. Doom Lords. That I bought last night, and that's why I was up till 6 a.m. Because I started at like 11.30, cutting them out of the sprues. I got every little tiny piece cut out of the sprues. And... By about 1.30, took me two hours to pull them out of the sprues and clean them all up. And it took me three hours for some reason. I think I took a little break to eat some food because I was really hungry. Two and a half hours to glue them all together. What a joy. Um, that's all. Seems really. I don't have the wherewithal. Here is the beautiful official rule book. And right now I'm very happy just to have one rule book for this set, hoping that they don't come out with another one because they're like fifty dollars. You know, homie don't play that. I already I already spent a hundred and fifty getting the box, tools, and everything. Hundred dollars on a paint set, and fifty dollars or whatever you have on this forty forty something for the, the Blood Bowl team that doesn't even come with all the pieces you need. And uh, I don't need to pay for another fifty dollar book. So hopefully, this book, which came at a huge discount in price in this box, is all that I need for the rest of my the rest of eternity. Man. Uber Eats is really trying to get me to eat lunch today. I just woke up. I just had a little bit of breakfast with my morning pills. Morning pills. Flip this over. It is a hardcover, thick book. has all the teams in it that exist so far. Um, that's one of my annoying parts is like they haven't updated certain teams yet. You're working on like the old rules for the teams, um, and one of those teams is the team I almost wanted to really play was a Amazon's because Amazon's have all they have all these really good skills on them. They have block, and really that's what I want with my with my team, my little chaos chosen team. I want them to all have block, but you know what? They have strength. I've got. Three, right now I've only got three strength four pieces and a strength five piece. And I'm gonna be giving them block when they when they level up. And they all have horns, so they when they blitz, which you only get one blitz per turn, but when they blitz they get four strength. So potentially I have like a lot of strength on the field. Oh, there. Nice. I don't know how to display the ribbon. That's what I do like about these Games Workshop uh, books, though. They come with a nice little ribbon. See, ribbon. You can uh, mark your your place in the book. So far away. They're so close up. Uh, I can just adjust the height. That should help quite a bit, right? No, this. Got the ribbon. Got the ribbon. 
that you can mark your space in, and that that helps because you can mark the rules. <laughs> you mark the rules you always freaking need. Um, but why do you even need the book when they give you this nice color printed thick uh, multiple page cheat sheet? Tells you all the common questions and I know how to get that. Maybe I should display it in a booklet. That's those are pretty neat. Oh, these are just cheat sheets of the same kind. Two copies of it, the same cheat sheet. So that's nice. I have I had these little print offs that I did. Someone's going crazy. So the wife she is at the Texas Hall Country Music Hall of Fame right now. Sending me constant snaps. Look at that. Jesus. Why? Why? Stop. Stop it, wife. I don't need to see all these pictures. Footprints in the sand monument. Isn't that beautiful? Can't really see. It's very bright. Camera's trying to adjust. Footprints in the sand. Footprints in the sand. That is kind of neat. There's these little footprints. Those are footprints in concrete. Don't even try me. <laughs> Son of man came not to be served, but to serve and give his life. That is a pretty neat little uh, statue of Jesus with the footprints in the sand. But oh my lord. With the notifications. Are you hearing it? Bling, 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 bling. And I can't even, I have to for some reason tap each one of these individually. But her little, her favorite little country group, the Texas Tenors, is uh, going to be inducted in the Country Music Hall of Fame. I'm there in Texas. Shout out to the tenors. Thank you, Marcus, for singing at my wedding. Be forever grateful. <clears throat> Those are good guys. These are all the bases that uh, come with the screws. And oh, these are the dice. The Blood Bowl you have. Three block dice, two d6s, with a special little symbol on the six. That every time you roll that little blood bowl symbol on the six, you mistake them for your block dice. So you grab them up to roll them for block, and then you fail. Um, D8 helps the ball scatter in eight directions. And this little 16 sided wounding dice for whenever you murder people, um, or whenever you try to murder people. I think only a 16 is murder. Uh, but yeah, last night I broke into this box to steal the green ones from the orcs. Um, and then at the end of the game, my good friend Brendan, I think his name was, Brandon, Brendan, gave me this little marker that he apparently made. He stenciled this stun and prone marker that you can put on there because with these models sometimes there's a big mess. People get stunned. They're laying down, face down in the battlefield, or face up in the battlefield. And you need that marker. So that's really nice. Really nice to have. Another friend gave me some little rubber bands you can put on your models to mark certain things. I have any skills yet to mark, but this is one of the things I really wanted. This little box. This is where I'd put my Blood Bowl pitch, if I could open it, <clears throat> if I had one, although, you know, <coughs> we played at the store last night on these little neoprene mats, they're like little rubber mats, and they roll out really nicely because it's neoprene, and I love them, good, and very sad that I don't have one, and then they guy told me it would be $60 to get one. I was like, no. Guy tried to give me a little uh, a flat canvasy one. Canvas one for like 20 bucks. He was like, I got it for 35 but I give it to you for 20 
Man. I just bought this cardboard one. <laughs> um, and I'm just praying that the cardboard one will be enough for me. Uh, at least for now. But it comes with these little sideline things. Sideline things mark your, your dugout. Marks your turn. Marks your rerolls. And marks your score. I guess that's the score. Apparently you can have up to eight. I've only ever seen three. Think of it. Somebody got a four scoring team. But this is the people ready to go back out. Stairs. Out onto the pitch. These are people who are knocked out. Means they're, they've been knocked out and uh, have a chance of coming back onto the pitch. These are people that are injured. Um, I had a guy who got a permanent injury last night. And it turned into minus one strength. So he went from three strength to two strength, which is horrible. You know what? That guy was the guy that got all of the star player points to level up. <clears throat> That's not good. That sucks. All right. This is very, very big. Oh, it's big, boys. Oh, it's got skulls. It's the Blood Bowl pitch. It's so big you can't even see the whole thing. Got end zones on either side. The big skulls in the middle. It's got some map features. Like for some reason a chest or a trap door. And uh, goblins and blood. Oh, on the other side, we've got clearly defined squares on perhaps a stone orc. Itch. Um, you don't want to be on. I like the green, to be honest, because I like grass. I like green. Ugh, that's the human Imperial Noble field, I suppose. And this little instruction booklet to tell you how to put the models together. Um, yes, so every other Friday is League Night um, at the store. And they are playing a season. They're playing like a little tournament bracket type thing for the season. I didn't get involved in that. I was like a last minute. I almost, almost got into it for the league, but I didn't. But they're, they allow people to take teams. Maybe they're off teams. Um, or in my case, just my team that I have. And play and get points, level up during the season. And then maybe next season join uh, the cup. Um, so everybody's trying to level up their their teams during that time, and yes, as you as your as your guys do stuff on the field, like if you get a touchdown, you get three little points for your, that character earns three points toward leveling up. <clears throat> Age of Sigmar, yeah, I've never been. I just I I I got into the the Lord of the Rings. I just said this earlier, but I got into the Lord of the Rings. Whenever I found a little booklet at a yard sale, and then I started collecting those used models from eBay and never really got to play a lot. I mean, I got to play with you guys, um, but never went to a store to play Lord of the Rings. <laughs> this is a lot simpler game. It's 11 versus 11. It's a football. There's leagues. <clears throat> I think it's a lot nicer of a community, too. Um, from what I'm hearing from people, they're like, oh, those Warhammer guys, you know, they they cheat. They you know, when you when you have 30 models and you have to roll 30 dice and you pick them all up real quick, yeah, it's it's not the, the kind of people you run into is not fun. Um, but with 11 vs 11, you can really see what's going on. Pretty much catch cheaters or stop them in their tracks. And kick them out of your freaking league. Um, we have a pretty nice community, I think. They've been pretty nice to me. We had an odd number of people. So there was a person that couldn't play last time, last night. They let me play. I was like, thank you so much. And they they let me use all their tokens because I didn't have any tokens. And they let me use... They gave me this little... This is a neat thing. I don't know how much this would cost. But it's a little... Prone and stunned token marker 
for my models because when they when they get knocked over they fall on their backs they take up so much space whenever they're on their backs ridiculous well blood bowl kind of allows you to get competitive because you have the the brackets and the leagues and stuff and uh like last night somebody had made a uh they're making these I I do paint my models. That's what I'm here for. I'm about to start doing that right now. Last night, <clears throat> I spent six hours. Cutting from the sprues. I spent two hours cutting them from the sprues and cleaning them up. Maybe more than two hours cleaning them up. They had so many little pieces. And I picked probably maybe one of the harder teams to put together. It took me six hours to glue them. I mean, it took me three hours to glue them. Two hours to cut them out and clean them up. Uh, three hours to glue them. I, uh, I based, I, I primed them this morning. <clears throat> put them on the cardboard and spray painted them all gray. Which they're kind of gray and glossy, but if you put a base coat on them, it accepts the paint better. Um, so they've all got a little base coat going. And uh, I think I need to pull up the instructions again. During my six hours, I was up until 5 a.m. <clears throat> Welcome, save BB6. Uh, I was just I just turned my phone on uh, vibrate because. Uh, my wife sent me like 30 pictures, but I did look at those pictures and I appreciate the the neat little Footprints in the sand monument. That was pretty cool um, I'm gonna go grab those models for you, or some of them <clears throat> okay, so you probably won't be able to see very well because this isn't the best camera in the world. Um, <clears throat> little schmelly. This is a, a, a little football that a guy gave me. It's a 3D printed football. It's got the spikes on it. And I plan to paint it so that I can have a painted football. And anyway, you grab the guy. Here is a goat man. They are the Chaos Chosen. He is a beast man runner. And they have horns, which gives them plus one strength whenever you do your blitz, which you can do once per turn. I am getting getting paint on me. They're not dry yet. Um, you just throw the ball on him like that, and you can see, see clearly that he's carrying the ball. <clears throat> Kiwi's little helper, welcome. So I might bring this in closer. I brought it back, brought the camera out so that you could see uh, the big box that I was unboxing. Um, these are not going to focus very well. Here's some of them that I picked out. They've all got different horns and different faces, and I had to glue the faces onto the heads. I had to glue the horns onto the top of the heads, and then I had to glue the legs onto the, tor the back and the front together on the torso, and the legs onto the torso, and the arms onto the torso. It was a bloody nightmare. Here is my. Oh, he's so blurry. Maybe one day they'll focus. Maybe somehow they'll focus. How people do it sometimes. Gerard Monster. Unfocused Blood Bowl is better than no Blood Bowl. Yes. Ugh. Bringing the camera down because I'm going to put these on a little.
Yeah. The camera likes to focus on everything but them. Focusing on the on the desk. It's got decent image of the desk in my hand. Not go. I don't know if I want to start with a a beast man or a uh, Ever. Here's the little turn markers. The hand with a uh, some kind of flaming skull in it. Chores before work. Rather be painting blood bowl. I I don't. I, blood bowl painting is a chore. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but good luck at work. Chores before work. I only do chores on days off. <laughs> it helps you feel like you're extra productive too. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I have this handy dandy. <laughs> Sorry, I've never done a painting stream before, but this is a Citadel model holder so that I can hold the model at a distance. Without having to keep my fingers like this, holding the thing the whole time. Yeah, they, they're not they're not super dry yet. Blowing on them helps, right? But it doesn't look like I globbed them up too much. One time I I based my models, put a thick coat of base base coat on them, and then they like lost some detail in them. <clears throat> not today. Not today. I have no idea how to get it to focus. Quite honestly. I don't want to paint them right. A few hundred fans. <coughs> hey! Hey, BB6. Thanks for the resub. My most supportive fan. <laughs> Probably not my most supportive fan, actually. I've got like three nice people that have. I set this up. Oh my gosh. This is subscribed for 12 months. I just realized. I set this up 11 months ago and probably forgot about it. Holy cow, this person's been with me for a year. Can't thank you enough. You're making my dreams come true. One year. Let's see what I have to show for it. Wow, that's funny. I set this up. I can't believe whenever I started streaming, I set up this command that would do this whenever somebody subscribed for 12 months. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's see if I have this. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. What do I have to show for it? You know, I have a lot to show for it. Not really show, but like... <clears throat> I have... Um, I've got Kiwi's Little Helper. That's a bot that I kind of paid for. Um, and all these backgrounds effects that came from a, a paid service through uh, Streamlabs Prime. Um, I've got this camera. I've got the doggy cam. I've got uh, two lights that light up the area so that... Uh, I don't look randomly backlit. <clears throat> I've got a blue Yeti microphone so that my voice does not sound stupid like it used to or cut out or anything like that. Um, I've, I've bought a bunch of little shelves to organize my workspace and I have a picture up on, the, on my Discord that shows a picture of that. I don't think I ever like pinned it or anything and i've got a nice keyboard with nami keys on it summon the doggos coco's currently ripping up the dog bed coco stop ripping ripping up the dog bed mommy wants to see you come here ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. doggies coco likes her butt scratched 
Lottie just likes to exist in her head pet. Let's see if I can bring the cocoa up here. Uh, I can paint a cocoa dog. Hold on. I will paint a cocoa. Yes, you will be painted today. This is this is an extra large miniature from uh, Games Workshop. Um, it uh, it's compatible with Age of Sigmar. Um, yeah, and uh, <laughs> are you winning, son? Oh, it's got a neat little picture. That's neat. How long has that been a thing? <clears throat> Coco. How much is that doggy on the carpet? Pet the doggies. Renal Spike 366. <clears throat> Just saw it for the first, for the first time. time. Yeah. I don't I don't think many people use that thing. Um I do have a lot of automatic ones that happen when you when you type certain words or <coughs> The ones in the channel point rewards. I think that's in a channel point rewards. I think that one's in the about section down below, isn't it? All right. So <clears throat> are you interested in watching the video of how to paint these things with me? Or do you prefer me to just have that in the background? <clears throat> How to paint Chaos Chosen. Oh, that's Chaos Base Marines. Chaos Chosen Blood Bowl. I watched this like four times last night. I'm the star. Well, yeah, it's a 12 minute video. <clears throat> Basically what I'm getting from it is let's see if I can full screen 3 Save 6. Said Molly wants to see Coco. Molly can wants to see Coco. Back, I don't know. Lottie went for a drink. Coco just went outside. Go, go! Oh. <laughs> Coco! She's back! Here's the Coco. Here's the Coco. Oh. She's suspicious that I want something from her, so she's kind of jumpy. She's... Let's see. Let's see. Coco. Oh, get Coco. The very close-up camera. I moved the camera because I'm supposed to be painting. There you go. It's a piggy. It's a cute little piggy. Ugh. You see my ceiling. Oh, that is not something you want to press. Ooh. How much is that cocoa in the window? She is a prime specimen. She's a shoulder dog. She's actually very uh, tame, except whenever she wants to play. When she wants to play, she's insufferable. Crazy. Yeah, you turn like into an animal of insanity. Insanity animal. Snort, snort. Ugh. I had this. I had this camera in the perfect position for painting. Okay. Gosh.
<laughs> Thank you for loving me, Molly. I appreciate it. Um, we are having a great time. If you guys could just stay in the Hall of Fame for a few more months, I can get all these miniatures painted. Um, hope you have a good time. Did you guys do the concert? Is that later tonight? What have you done so far? Just visited a monument? Here's my little miniature. A night. Still isn't the perfect place. How do I how do I get you to see where I'm going to actually be holding this thing? There we go. Okay. So as you saw earlier. on this full screen there's a lot of different colors and I don't have these uh, Citadel colors I have my own so I have to figure out which brown Mourn Fang Brown is um, maybe it's this leather brown um, I know it's hide his little purple brown skate and white binge maybe this fur brown is the brown there Talking about with the Morn Fang. And Monster Brown is a little light. I'm going to go with Fur Brown. And you know, they don't have to be exact. They don't have to look exactly the same. In fact, I'm not going to paint my little shoulder pads red. That Mephiston red? Heck no. These are going to be green armored uh, goat people. And so, got my palette. I've already forgot to clean the palette. Tiny dab. I actually will probably need a lot. Actually, because these guys have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of brown to them. They're really light looking brown uh, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. got a big army painter brush kind of big I mean it's kind of small actually but it's it's big for what I want to do and huge gloss painted painted it a lot better I also need a uh, paper towel. <clears throat> Back with the paper towel. This will help, uh, you know, kind of fix my brush whenever I get way too much paint on it. Um, fancy people might use better stuff than that, but not me. Okay. So, <clears throat> if I remember right, all of their skin, because they're goat people, all of their skin is brown. We're just slapping brown all over. This is really watery, so it sucks when I have to do a lot of coats of this, especially on the... Why is there a hair in here? Get a wife, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Big and globular hair on my... Don't know if I blame the wife or the dog on all, for all the hair. I know it ain't me. For sure it ain't me. I also have... I have glasses if I needed them. I also have a neat little magnifying glass I will probably put between me. Miniatures. 
You won't be able to really see it, but I will. Put my glasses on. That's going to help with seeing this so much better. Boom. See that brightness? That brightness. Jax is the culprit for what? Oh, the, all the hair? No. Jax would never be hairy. He wouldn't do that to me. He loves me. I'm not really liking how light brown this all is. Gonna need a lot darker brown. At least I feel like I'm gonna need a lot darker brown. Been wrong before. I'm not liking him badly. How watery it is this I'll get to the thicker thicker paint, please. I think I have a, a British accent because every uh person painting the tutorials is like a British person from Games Workshop. This is gonna be kind of hard getting into the getting into the inner legs of this creature. We're gonna have to do a lot of coats of and I think um in the tutorial their their model based black. I think black is a lot better color to paint on sometimes, but it really suck when you're trying to paint like bright red and you just can't get it to be bright bad part here is that these so watery that it's got bubbles in it you do not want bubbles on your paint i know that for a fact you do not want the bubbles in your paint. I'm just going to put it on this uh, paper towel, but maybe get soak up some of that water, and then I'll have like a thicker, thicker paint. Though. Dark brown, man. I don't even need to go with. <laughs> it's so dark. So dark with this bright light here. I don't even need to go with oak brown, but I think the oak brown has this tinge to it, you know? Always give your paints a good shaking. Never know when they need to get beat up. That's what gets the wateriness out of them. Let's just... Yeah, I mean, that's a really dark thing. That yellow mix. The much darker brown, which I might just go with that. How strange that that yellow is mixed in there. You know what else I need? Is a, uh... A water cup. A water cup.
Yeah, I like that brown a lot better. And there's just so much fur on this creature. So we're gonna need a lot of it. Brown face, brown fur, brown eyes, brown ears. Brown chest, brown muscles. Okay, honey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the subscription. You're the highlight of my day, the highlight of my life. I love you, my darling wife. Yeah, right. I might save one for you to paint if I don't paint all of them. <laughs> Date night, yeah, right. Yeah, I'll try to f get one that's not a pain in the butt. These guys are not fun to paint, I don't think. Just because they have so much detail in this fur stuff. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, I say. Still not up to where I'm actually painting, is it? Love you too, my darling. Don't tell anyone. I might just say screw it and start painting almost all of the model brown because this first coat is so thin that I'm going to need to like triple coat. And triple coat, I might as well have a dark, a brown coat on the bottom. On everything, on like the leather, leather bits, chest piece. Maybe not like try to avoid touching the the metal parts so much with the brown, but he's just got so much. <clears throat> yeah, but like I don't want to get any brown on the metal parts, and then like have to work really hard to cover up the brown, the metal parts. It should be fine for all these, like, technically cloth, technically leather, and pieces of them. But I'm going to try to leave the parts that are metal untouched by brown. And the horns. <sighs> Speed. The, I mean, I don't really want to speed paint because I want these things to turn out really, really good. That's my goal. Really want it to turn out as perfect as you can you can imagine. I want it to look professionally painted. And that's something I've always struggled with, is 
patience. Sent a pick on the Discord. Let's check it out. Uh, remember to cover your paints. I just left, left this paint uncovered. Don't like to let them dry out. Discord. Oh, he sent it to me personally. You could send it in the in the Kiwi Club Discord, or I could try to invite you to the Blood Bowl Discord, but it'd be boring. Did you paint that one? Holy cow! This guy. Let's see if we can get the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna expose you for this. I'm gonna expose you for this. 366. Said yep. That's me. That's. I don't even believe. Look at this guy. How big is it? Oh, a little reptile. See, and somebody said. Wow, the detail on that. Ugh. Oh, I'm creaming over this model. Yeah, I mean, is that speed paint? Are you gonna get are you gonna get all of them speed painted like that? Or is that your slow paint? That's your champion. How do you have? Is there a special rule for special guys, or however that works? Age of Sigmar. Special rule for special guys. <clears throat> what what kind of army is your infantry? Saurus Spearman. Yeah, I think uh like I think they share a world. Like Blood Bowl and Warhammer and Sigmar sh all share a world. Don't quote me on it, but I've seen the Saurus uh Blood Bowl team. I need a finer brush for what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to paint just his hair, his back, head. <clears throat> this thing is just kind of cumbersome. This thing is just in the way, kind of a blurry magnification. I'm going to just try to use my so dark now so bright on the so bright looking on the stream I have to turn it up a notch so that I can see <clears throat> So do you get to play Age of Sigmar regularly? The most annoying part to paint 
on any miniatures in between the legs, especially if their legs are close together. Yeah, but with our D&D &D falling, falling apart, I've been able to go to Blood Bowl every other Friday. <clears throat> Stephanie's roommate. Stephanie live alone or live with a roommate? I thought I assumed you guys lived together. That's been my style for years. Live with the girlfriend. Find all of her flaws. Break up with her for the flaws. Find one you can bear to live with. Marry that one. Ah. Another year. Like how many years is that lease? Jeez. I wonder if I'm going to regret painting this whole thing brown. Sometimes that happens. Regrets in life. Sixteen months. What have you only known her for four months or something? Yeah, I think I'm doing great on the feet. Don't know how I'm doing on the the leather pieces on this because I think they're going to be a different color. I don't think I should be painting them so hard. I don't think I should be painting them so hard. But we are wet. Ah. Gotcha. Not ready to move in. I'm in a rush to move in with my girlfriends. This is like the darkest brown I have. <laughs> I think I think because they're goat men, I'm gonna have a dark brown leather body and like a lighter leather. That's actually what this other color is on here. I have that's that's the oak brown that I'm using for fur. And that's leather brown. <laughs> oh no, that was fur brown. This one is fur brown. And it's, it's it's not doing it for me, fam. I'm liking the dark, the dark brown color I'm getting out of this. Uh, oak brown. Maybe this was leather brown. I pulled out leather brown as well. I don't know which brown I actually put in the in the palette. <laughs> um, yes, leather brown for the fur, fur brown for the leather. <laughs> I'm thinking leather brown for the leather, and I'm I, and I think I'm using this oak brown for the for the fur. And then leather is is light. Fur brown, I think I'll use for a highlight or. A singular, or a, how to how to explain the the low light, and then I'll use a uh, something like skeleton bone for highlights. And yes, I have the full War Painter set, um, which I think came with like eighty colors, and um, it's got a lot. 
uh, got, but it's only got four washes. Black wash makes the crevices pop. This one's called Dark Tone, and it says washes at the bottom, so you know. That's neat. I've got Dark Tone, Strong Brown Tone, Strong Tone, uh, Flesh Wash, I guess you put over Flesh, and Soft Tone. I don't know what, what makes it soft and strong, but uh, apparently there's some kind of brown. But I've got a pretty brown model. He's pretty brown. I think it was like $80 whenever I got it. I, I said like 80, uh, 80 paints, but I think, I think it was $80. I think you can look it up. It's like maybe fifty dollars or something. I don't know. Eighty paints for fifty dollars. I don't. I don't remember. But you can look it up. It's the uh, Army Painter War Paints, and they're they're just cheaper than Games Workshop Citadel paints. So I went with them. They've got some true to true to color. They've got like same color as Citadel. Yeah, it was way cheaper. This brush is loaded with brown, let me tell you. Get that brown out of there. Get that brown out of my face. I think while that's drying, I'm going to try to look for a green. Scaly hide green. Army green. I want a bright green. Goblin green. Goblin green is pretty bright. This angel green is a dark green. And um, let me show you the picture. I found if I can Google it. Green Chaos Chosen Blood Bowl. This guy. Not do. Let's do. Image. This team is the one I'm looking to emulate. They have got dark green and black with bright green highlights. I don't really like the green lines around the edges of their armor. They got green flame. I wonder if that green flame would be like way cooler than painting the whole thing bright green. I'm thinking just a base of dark green, seeing where that from there. So, I'm gonna clean out my 
I clean out my palette, I mean, try to scrape out this old green gunk. Last time I painted some uh, Rohan warriors. I have a lot of those, and my cousin wanted to paint a horse. He was like, painting a horse is way easier than painting a soldier. I was like, joke's on you. There's a, a soldier on the horse, so you're just signing up for more. Black pads. Light green object outlined in dark. Outlined in dark green? I don't know. They like... Oh, you think that's what I should do? Because this guy did dark green on like these these guys here. See my cursor? It's like dark green with light green on the edges. I don't really like it that much. But I, I think that's what I'm going to go for is like a dark Renal green. Spike 366 pad. said you should totally track the <laughs> color blind dude. Oh. <laughs> How are you painting your miniatures? Go back to... Go back to... How are you painting this guy? Lots of purple? Grinnell Spike 360. I paint with people. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. I just like to put this in my hand. It feels exactly like my uh, child-friendly conversation. And uh, shake it as hard as I can. <laughs> it actually doesn't work. I've let these paints sit for a very, very long time, so they tend to get very bubble fu bubble fication. Bubble bubble fication happens. Bubblyfication. Okay. Going on the green. Going going for green. Scared. Now it takes several layers of green. I almost need the magnifying glass. That went on really well. It went on really, really well. Got a little back pad here. I still don't know what this shoulder or this elbow pad should be. It, let me refer to my uh, picture. This guy didn't show the elbow pads on any of his models. They're all hidden from view. They got black gloves. I don't like the green and black. I more like the green, the uh, green and silver. Green and silver was my wedding colors. Quite happy, quite pleased with the wedding. This little shoulder pad is dangerously close to his horns. How do they even perform with all these horns? I had a guy... Uh, Got a touchdown with one of my models last night. His name is Horny. So Horny got a touchdown. And then uh, in the next round, Horny um, 
knocked a guy down and caused an injury, so he got more points toward leveling up. He got five points. And you only need three for a random. You need six for a uh, to pick up a skill. But then Horny got injured. Freaking jerk. Um, but he did go toe to toe with a big and blocker orc. So that was my fault. Horny was in the thick of it whenever he got injured. Um. Yeah, I'll go with green gloves. Green gloves would be cool. Yeah. That's why I shouldn't have painted the gloves brown. Because they need to be green. Now I have I had so little green to paint on this guy that I have so much green paint remaining. I hate that. A lot of green brush. So what I tend to do is go and grab other models that I know that I want them to be. <clears throat> I know I want green, like this guy, and I start taking green and slapping it on. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Can you hear the little background piano music? I can't. That's why I'm singing and making my own. Stand shout. Only your lovely voice. See, whenever I turn the music up, it tends to be like really loud for some reason. And I can't figure out exactly how much loudness we need. I never sit, I never tend to figure it out. But I could try. 1D. I'll check out the volume mixer. Oh. There's not even a... There's not even a sound on this. Video and audio. Blue Yeti audio. Let's see if I can go. Let's go steal the audio from this headset screen here. Audio... It's at, oh, but I just needed to add audio output, click headset. See, it might have been loud enough, you just weren't around, it wasn't in the scene. Now I can hear it really well. Let's see. See if we need it at 18%. Because it can get pretty loud. I don't want it to be louder than me where you can't even hear me. Chronal Spike 366 said, Damn, this makes you sound so inspirational. I am inspirational. In the in the writing community, people are like, Oh look, a person who's writing. Thank you so much. I'm inspired to write. I'm like, you're welcome. But we are kind of uh, neglecting our our writing hobby, so we can enjoy our painting hobby today. That's okay. I need these, you know. I need these kind of days. I haven't painted in so long and I put so much money into the like last time I went got into it I was I spent like probably a total of like six hundred dollars 
I mean, if you take into account all the models I have, but technically some of them are gifts. Like my mom got me a set of wood elves that I never painted. I went through the trouble of clipping them out of the sprues and uh, <clears throat> and uh, gluing them together, but I didn't do the the painting on any of my dwarves. I really liked those. Uh, dwarves from like the Hobbit movie. Grim Hammer Dwarves is what they were called. I wonder if people might think it's blasphemy to paint the Chaos Chosen green. Painting green is wrong. I don't want to be right. I don't even want that black. I want the green. <laughs> That's pretty satisfying. There's a lot of flat flat metal pieces on this model. That makes it way easier to paint than the Goatman. <laughs> Goatman just has so much detail. Did I call him Goatman or Beastman? His title is Beastman Runner. Painting right on. There we go. That's probably better. The hair got the got the green Pokemon around. I could even go with like green leather. <laughs> Say these guys got green leather. Might be a lie, but you know. You can't have enough green in your life. When Connor can't have green, I I have to do excess green just for him. What does that make your favorite color? You had some chaos. Grinal Spike 366 <laughs> said you're so kind. You had some chaos Grinal Spike chosen. 366 said my fave color is gray. Your <laughs> color is gray. Well, look at this guy. He's got to be your favorite. Um. Two coats of green on this guy. We might just go into battle in a couple Fridays from now with just only wearing green. Didn't paint the rest of the model, just painted the armor green. I like painting in mass. I might go grab even more. Chaos blockers here. Paint the 
armory bits. Green. I might be the only guy that digs the green on these shoulder pads. Supposed to be like this color. But that's okay. Paint what you love. Love green. I even like, uh, I want my model to hold up to scrutiny when you zoom in on it, you know? Just like yours when you, when you take a zoomed in camera photo, it's not, it does justice to those little details that you covered. Millimeter by millimeter, you covered it in paint. That's good. Double coat of paint on all the... You know, on these guys, I think I might go with a brown leather boots. But, like, I think the thing about this guy is... You can't really tell that he... But his glove kind of looks like one of those... Like a glove that uh, an NFL person would wear, and it would be... Like the color of their team. It would be team colors. But like, I really want it to be green. And so it will be. So mote it be. Which is say This guy's little shoulder pad isn't looking too shoulder bad. Oh no. He said before he discovered that the inside looks terrible. Is so not gonna get painted. I managed to touch it, but did it get painted? I don't know. Like a crevice that needs to be green. <laughs> All right, lots of green done on those two models. Oof. Did I even go for like, I'm thinking about going for green flame on this guy, <laughs> a flaming green skull, is that too much? Feels like too much.
public game thing, that's new to me, so they were. Sorry, I'm reading Discord for funsies. So much green here. I'm going to end up using all this green to paint all my models, probably. And then the most basic form of my team will be complete. They're not called an army in Blood Bowl, they're called a team. And I am the coach. I would become the best coach in all of Blood Bowl. Mark my words. If I don't mark my words, make my words be marked. Caught. Been caught before. My words not coming true. I used to dabble in prophecies. My word would come true at once. That. Don't tell anyone though. I learned how to manifest things. Man, how cool would it be to have a green hair tie? Because <laughs> they have a little, they have a little band tying their hair together. That would be hard to paint green. I must try. I do need to see what what color these knee pads are painted. The chaos chosen. Let's see. We're going to paint it green on this, guys. Little green knee pads. I don't know what color the, the cloth of the knee is. All the pants on all these guys are black. Cloth is all black. Kind of annoying to me, but. I guess you kind of go for it. Kind of have to go for it. GFI, as they call it in the Blood Bow. Glaringly not painted part of my miniature. Supposed to be brown. A terrible job in between the legs. When you think about it, who's going to be looking in between the legs of a goat? Who? Tell me right now. Are you going to be looking between the legs of a goat man? Let me go grab some more guys. Paint them green.
happens every day. I see a goat man and I want to paint him green. I'm only going to be painting three Chaos Warriors or Chaos Blockers because I only have three on my team right now. And I need to get out a uh, big guy stand in for my Minotaur. messed up that's okay I think uh, when you paint like a metal color it covers other colors pretty well I think I was pretty proud of my little miniatures performance last night the Lord of the Rings works Painted pretty well. They don't belong on a blood bowl build, blood bowl pitch, that's for sure. They're a lot smaller in this. And they're dull, realistic colors. Doesn't mesh well with the bright blood bowl teams. I see a blocker and I want to paint him green. My phone keeps blinking, and I don't know if it's Discord notifications. But have I already read them on PC? Never know. These armor pieces are so easy and satisfying to paint. I, I just wish the whole model was this way. are getting fatigued painting got paint fatigue setting in I just realized what color are the, the helmets gonna be hmm these guys got helmets on the full face cover helmets <laughs> paint their eyes red or something.
red glowing out from there. I'd be scared of that. You don't want to mess with Beauty and the Beasts. You can probably do right now because they have no skills. Now the beauty of the Chaos Team. Start with no skills. Get a bunch of cool skills. Just build it however you want. Make them have the same skills as orcs. Make them have the same skills as Norse. Make them have the same skills as your mom. Just kidding. No one can have the same. No one can have those kind of skills. I do not want my phone to keep blinking like this rather than me inside. Can you tell I have a favorite color? Very blurry. No, Kiwi, I can't tell. It's all blurry. Have you been into painting, Connor? If you're still around to hear me, I don't remember you being into painting models at all. They made you purchase them, they made you paint them, or how did that happen? How badly has your pocketbook been affected? Now I know why you can't afford a new game. You can't afford a new game because you've been buying models on the side, haven't you? Then you bought the paints. Then you bought the brushes. Age of Sigmarian, you probably bought the Citadel Clippers, didn't you? I actually found a really good set of clippers and a uh, what are these? A little knife scrape um, on Amazon. The whole set comes with like files and can't remember what else for ten dollars or eleven dollars for the whole thing heck yeah that looks literally like the same thirty dollar clippers that they sell on games workshop as far as i can tell it is even army painter has one they sell for ten dollars but i got this whole ass set for ten dollars paint their grill silver. 
but I'm going to paint the helmet green. Perfect detailing, Kiwi. Thank you. You're welcome. Want to see it painted? Painted green. <clears throat> So you talked about shades, but did you talk about, or washes, but did you talk about highlight? You ever done any highlighting there, Connor? Highlights are kind of a, I find high, highlights to be even crazier than washes. Whenever I saw washes, I was like, wow, it goes into the crib, the watery, that's great. But then like with a dry brush highlight, you're just like slapping, slapping the model, it just becomes highlighted. Fantastic. More Snapchats. I wonder who that's from. Been streaming for almost two hours. I didn't catch finally. Actually started painting. With the lack of progress I've made toward completing the entire team, I am a bit worried how many hours it's going to take to eat these. I want you guys in fighting shape, playing shape. want those star player points you gotta earn them you gotta be painted <laughs>
I'm using up this green paint though, let me tell ya. No, Zag, I won't let you tell me. Let me tell you. The paint is being used. Not a drop wasted. Maybe a drop wasted. But not a puddle wasted. Don't waste puddles. Except for that first watch of fur brown that I did. I don't really like that fur brown at all. Every model I put it on, it is not fur. I don't like it. It's like a bright good fur for a dog or something. Maybe it's meant for. A rat folk. In the Warhammer universe. I dread painting all the other details of these miniatures because of how nice and easy, quick these armor pieces have gone. No. I don't want to finish a model. I hate finishing. How do you guys feel about finishing? hate how like technically a model can be really quickly um, it can be speed painted you know and you can like slap a wash on it slap some iron but like getting into the fine detail going slowly how you make a really good looking model. Unfortunately, that's the standard I want. Standard I've chosen. Why would I choose that? I don't know. I just spent a lot of money. That's probably it. You know, when you spend this much money on something, you're like, I want them to look as good as possible. I don't want them to look trashy. Ratchet. I don't want them to look ratchet. anyone else have this problem of uh, like you have to double coat everything you do like one coat is never good enough or is it just am I the only one that does that like maybe my technique is wrong I could do a thicker coat somehow but I was like dab paint dab paint If 
I just did a thicker coat the first time. I wouldn't need a second coat. But does that technically take more or less time? Kind of seems like to me it'd take an equal amount of time. I'm getting one little piece done really quickly, going all around it, and then um, why? Why do I keep getting closer and closer and higher and higher? Gotta run a little on green paint. Happy. Really hoping these little spikes that I'm accidentally painting green don't turn out to be green. <laughs> Open that metal really just shines through. I like this color. So kind of wondering if I shouldn't have went with a brighter green. still to just paint this whole side. Can I do a second coat on this? Huh. Am, I, am I doing a third coat right now? Hmm. Feels like I'm doing a third coat. Paint the helmet. This helmet probably really needs a detail brush. Tiny, tiny brush to get in there. But I'm using my big boy brush. That's how I learned to paint, technically. I used a big, huge brush, and it couldn't do anything. Couldn't do any details, because it would, like, slap up against the sides of everything. And this brush is a little smaller than that brush I used long ago. But it's still a pretty big brush. I know that because I've used Alright, that guy's helmet has been painted. 
put him to the back with a second coat. these helmets. Yeah, I do think I have a problem with like, spreading the paint too thin. Did have a problem with having paint that's too thick. So it goes both ways and it's really hard to really tough balance. Even these guys that have gotten two coats of paint. Green is doing doing hard. Having a hard time this green. I am somewhat satisfied. Oh, that's a big one. to think that I'm learning. I'm doing a good job. Who doesn't like to think that they're doing a good job? Tell me in the chat if you like to think that you're doing a bad job. And know that you are and you never want to know it. You want to be exposed for the bad job you're doing. I will let the world know. I'm doing fantastic. I don't know about you guys. Final touches of green on these. Mm -hmm. I want to paint on these guys or how <sighs> terrifying now that I'm getting out getting to the parts where I'm gonna to have to focus on Something other than green. I don't wanna. Never. Um, let me show you what I'm looking at. Pre-orders at Meta for the Elven Union team. Comes with the Elven Union pitch. Our player cards. Purple dice. Who needs them? Right? Who stinking needs them? That pitch confuses my brain. Oh god, yeah, that's true. 
Screw that pitch, man. Di diagonal squares and then for sure. For certain sure. Still got enough green to paint these guys, I think. Paint these little goat dudes. Have no green on them yet. I mean, I even see, like, when they paint Games Workshop tutorial videos, I see them doing this dab, paint, dab, paint. And I think that gets a lot thicker of a coat on than the way I've been doing it. You know, I do like a dab, paint it over the whole thing with a big swath. And then it dries and it's super thin which I think is good technique for you know times when you would need a really thin coat maybe around some details or something like if I had if I had a black base coat and I was making it black details you just need a thin coat that would be great. But it's not good when you you have this big green armor piece and you slapped one super thin coat of green over it. Yeah, my beast men have green gloves. What of it? Now the question is, do they have brown hands or do they have green? What's going on? Oh, this is a green armor pad. Yeah, that's green. Yeah, I am just like everywhere with it, aren't I? First I was over there. Now I'm over here. Keep getting higher and higher. Sure. Getting closer, closer, closer. Base. As time goes on. I wonder if that's a metal strap. No, if it's a. I think I'm going to make it a metal strap. Be a green metal strap. Beast man, see if he's good. Only thing that makes me think it's a it's a metal strap is that it's got a rivet. A little rivet. The other straps all paint brown for leather. I'm running out of paint here though. That's a good sign for me. Means I can switch to another color. I would be be happy, happy, happy with that. Happy, happy guy. Happy, happy guy. Check on this. Go me. Not paint that green. But I want to. Try to do it thick green on first try. My brush is too thick to get in there. That's okay.
name. You know, this guy's. I know he's got a new metal strip. Wouldn't believe the details you missed. So. Okay. The state of the miniatures so far. I don't think I have enough green to paint this guy, unfortunately. You don't get the green, buddy. Sorry about it. Um, let's do some touch-ups. Get another coat. Green on some of these. Or I get that Absolutely used every drop of that green. That is satisfying. You guys could probably care less. I am happy. I don't like wasting paint. In fact, I. You're a paint waster? Get right out of it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't really like the way that this guy ride. He's got pretty thick paint, but now you can brush strokes pretty quickly on him. And I think that's a condition of, uh, of uh, dry paint. The paint's too dry. You're going to be like scraping these. Uh... Scraping these rivets or ruts or lines into the paint as you're painting it. I am wetting my brush, swapping back over to the brown paint. Try to do some touch ups in this guy's burnt stuff. Because I noticed a few spots. Have a lot of them. noticed a few thin spots of brown, and I noticed completely gray spots. <laughs> Mm 
in between his legs here that I was supposed to paint. Why didn't I paint them? Just cause, okay, just. Avoiding the problem of painting stuff I don't want to paint. I'm not painting it. Problem solved. Um, his face looks pretty good. Neck here. His boobies. Little goat man boobies. Some more TLC. The Goatman armpits. But it's okay to mess up like that because you can always go back if it's too thin. The hard part is if it's too thick. Got it on there too thick. I have to find a way to remove it. I hate that. I don't want to get that happening. I used to have problems with my strokes, my paint being so thick that I removed. It. And these these models are so detailed. You don't want to lose that. Like the individual hairs of the goat man's hair. <laughs> That's a skill I like to keep. Try to keep it, eh? His belly's a little gray. Problem with just slapping and going. Um, now, with black, should I use matte black? Or should I? I should consult the guide. Consult the guide. But before I do, I'm going to grab this uh, beast man and use up lots of my brown. Before that brown dries out, it is already getting kind of dry because it was a long time ago that I opened that up and squirted that in there. Now I'm doing that technique of Grabbing a little paint, putting it in a small area. A little paint, putting it in a small area. Don't spread it out too much, because then you'll have just a really thin coat like I don't want the really thin coat. You want a perfect, perfectly thick coat. Not too thick, not too thin. That way you don't look at it in, in 10 minutes and see that all of that lovely work you did is just gray. Dried or thin. started my problem was that my paint was too watery 
Now my problem is becoming that my paint is too dry and thick. That's all right. That's all right now, baby. Mm -hmm. That's all right, mama. That's all right with me. I'm going to try not to paint this. The shorts brown on this one. Because I painted all over the shorts on the other guy. Pants. Trousers, as the British guy likes to call it whenever painting in the tutorial video. And I want to see. I can succeed. I want to be where the British are. I want to paint really good miniatures. I don't know how good I am, but I want to I like to think that I'm really good. I mean, this color might be really unconventional. I don't know. I might be painting way too dark. I don't know. Just painted into the crack of this guy's back. You don't really want to do that because now I've got a big. I right, almost had a big problem. I almost had a big glob of paint stuck. In between his back and you know you can use a wash for that you can use a shade a watery paint that goes in there and it's thin and doesn't glob it up I don't want to lose details last thing you want to do make a glob so thick that can't tell that he had a muscle there, or he has a bit of fur there. That would be horrible. Eb, paint small area. Eb, paint small. Make sure the coat is thick enough because I'm doing it too thin right now. Make sure you don't lose all the detail. Got like fur coming out of his belt. No, like that. So make sure you're painting every single angle because sometimes you'll miss an angle and you don't want to take a picture of your model at from a certain angle and see that it's gray on them. That would be sad. Thank you. 
Yeah, I kind of feel like my my style of painting here is realism. And I don't think these models are meant to be painted so realistic. We've got a dark, dark brown for the fur. I've got dark green for the... I guess it's just dark. Is my my own complaint with my own miniatures is everybody's everybody's miniatures seem to be bright and colorful. Mine are not bright and colorful. They are dark, gloomy characters. Why? I don't like that. If you don't like it, Zach. You can fix it and not paint. Dark. Hyper-realistic. Now you gotta have some fantastical color. Not this. I don't like it. I don't. I don't know. Like my own models. That's a problem. I started off with this brown thinking like, oh, that's realistic to what they would look like. I don't see a lot of like bright faded goats. Maybe I ought to make some variety in the uh the shades of my I don't know though, I like uniformity. Part of a problem I have. I just put on the headset so I can actually hear this uh, inspirational piano music. Didn't I paint the hand of this guy? That's strange. Sometimes you're the catch? Sometimes you're the bait. You scared me, Elmo. <laughs> My own thing scared me. You saw me jump. Welcome. How are you doing today? How are you doing, Elmo Yag? Thanks for the follow. We are painting our chaos chosen beast beastmen linemen. probably can't tell. It's very blurry. Hello. I'm going with green for armor pieces. Dark brown fur. And I was just saying, I don't know if I like dark brown. But it's a choice I have to live with at this rate. How are you doing today?
I forgot to paint this little elbow pad green. I have to go back over that with some green. Hate painting these armpits. I, it's like the light, you can't get the light in at the right angle to see what you're doing. This guy's neck. That's why I said check all the angles. Could be forgetting to paint the bottom of his neck. Or annoyingly, this guy's little hand guards are uh, and I guess that's kind of the part that I hate on all models really. They've got these like hand guards, and on the back side you have to paint their their skin or something. And then they have a strap, and then there's more skin. So it's like skin, leather strap, skin, leather strap, and hate it. I dislike it. Please stop making models with leather straps on their arms. But I don't know what arms would look like. Perhaps. Probably plain and boring. Going over the gray spots on the, the legs that I painted earlier. I didn't paint at all. Even paint. Yeah, I painted his uh painted his little knee guard green, but I didn't paint his little elbow guard green. And I didn't paint his wrist green. That's okay, I ran out of green anyway. I used all the green I had. Check this Snapchat. They've probably sent me 10 more snaps. Oh. She's playing, uh, playing her Pokemon game. Okay, now I just have to decide if I want to go black for the clothes, bone color for the hooves and the horn. I think going black for the clothes would make it easier. Working on This guy is super dark brown. And I think the, the brown is looking poor on him just because I painted his whole pants brown for some reason. I think the reason that I was like, eh, 
I'm going to do two coats, might as well do another coat. Do a coat of brown on his butt, and then a coat of uh, black on his butt. But okay, let me consult the guide. What does the guide say? Mm, I lost the guide. How to paint. Skaven Blight Dinge. This is more of a dark gray color. And then Gnome Oil is the black. I don't know. It's, I don't think. I think we should do Necromancer Cloak. See the. Uh, Cleaning off my brush, getting the water off, getting the paint off on my paper towel. Um, and let's see. I've got dark stone. Got uniform gray. Probably not gray, huh? And Necromancer Cloak. This Necromancer Cloak. I have a black gray. Dark Stone is a black gray, but this isn't really the color. Like a brown gray. Skaven Blight Dinge. A dingy black, dingy brown. And I've got too much of a dark brown going. This, um, I'm gonna go with dark stone and a, a dark stone attempt. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. And shout now. Come on, come on, come on, baby. There are some little tiny hairs. Who do those belong to? Jack's cat? Where's my cat? I think I like that. Dark stone. Really watery. Let's get. Yeah, it even is kind of brown. This is the same match for. Even blight dinge on the citadel paints, the army painter war paints. Pretty good at matching the similar colors, but you have to know the colors. I wish there was like a conversion. There probably is. A conversion chart online that tells you. Mixing up this paint. Loading up the brush. Now I'm as expected, I think hard time painting this 
dark stone color over the dark brown that I painted earlier as a But what are we going to do? We're just going to paint it until it shows up. Some thick coats. This might end up being the thickest coat on the whole model. Dark stone is kind of ended up being more of a a gray color dissipate. And I wonder if that's bad. Because it's really blending with this brown right now. Now let's try on this guy that I didn't paint his whole butt brown. See if that works good. It is working a little better. I think part of the problem is my thin thinness, wateriness of this paint. That's okay. Dab and paint. Dab and paint. Paint. I keep on doing this like a dab and then I stroke all the way across the whole all the way around the pants front to back with one thin thin coat and that's not really what you're supposed to do so I keep saying paint dab and paint and I think even this coat it's going to be gone over with darker. It's supposed to be Nulm Oil. Is Nulm Oil a matte black? Or is it just a dark, dark, dark? It's something I'll have to see. I'm also going to paint the cloth of his. Dark stone color. Dark stone is really gray. A little too gray for my liking. Okay. Unfortunately. But it is kind of showing this much. I need to let this dry. Instead of putting another thick coat on it. I'm 
and I'm not really left with guidance on how to paint the chaos. Blocker. It's all skin, but this the guy that I'm looking at, he doesn't show the backs of his models. Very sad. I like the pictures of what I'm seeing from the front, but I don't get to see what's going on with the and these guys. Maybe I will take a break at I'll look at this guy. As with any Citadel miniature, the first thing you actually do once you've built them is undercoat them. And for this miniature, I've chosen to go for Mechanica Standard Grey Spray, which you can see I've used. You wear the Grey Spray. It's an excellent starting point for the colours we're going to be using on this miniature. The first colour we need is a base paint, and it is Mornfang Brown. And as always, remember to give all your paints a really good shape before you use each one. Mornfang Brown. We're going to be using quite a lot of this because it's the starting colour for the flesh and the fur as well. So for that reason, I've chosen to apply it using a medium base brush. But you might want to go for a large base brush instead if you prefer. Whatever the case though, you just need to get some of this paint and put it onto a palette like this because doing so allows you to add a little bit of water to the mix. Don't need very much, just a small dab mixed in like that, but what this does is thins the paint down. So it'll go a little bit further and it'll dry smoother as well, avoiding brush marks in the paint and also it'll keep all the details nice and sharp as well. So once you've done so, all you've got to do is make sure your brush isn't overloaded and then it's just a matter of applying this to all the flesh and all the fur as well. Don't worry about other details at this point because if you do catch them, well, we're just going to paint over those later on as we add more colours to the miniature. So for now, just focus on the flesh and the fur. If you do see any of that undercoat showing through once you've applied it, and I'm getting a bit of that just there, it's not a problem. Just let this colour dry, then apply a second thin coat in exactly the same way. Yeah. Now that we've finished applying that base coat, we're ready to carry on blocking in some other colours on the miniature. So what we're going to do is run through them quickly now because they all follow the same technique. First of all, we need Skaven Blight Dinge, and this is to paint the black details, such as the trousers and also the gloves. And then we're going to be moving on to Rhinox Hide for all the brown leather straps. After that, we'll need Lead Belcher, and this is for all the silver metal details, followed by Mephiston Red for all the red armour plates. Finally, we need Zandri Dust for all the bone details, such as the horns and the hooves. Zandri Dust. <laughs> now, let's see. I've got Moon Dust. Moon Dust, very bright yellow. I don't think I want that one. I've got. Hold this one out. Skeleton Bone. Might be a little too light. But I think I'm going to go with Skeleton and this time I'm going to apply the paint using a medium layer brush because now we need a bit more control. Now we need to watch out for the details that we want to keep brown. So this brush is really good for that. Color. See, that's really gray. So it's it's really the same color. color. Add some water to the mix so it's nice and thin, about that kind of consistency there. And then make sure your brush isn't overloaded like that. And then all we need to do is start painting in the trousers. So looking at around here, and this time you can see what I mean about being careful. You just need to be really neat around that part there where the trousers meet the fur. And as before, if you find the undercoat showing through, just apply a second thin coat before you move on to the next colour. The next colour we need is Rhinox Hide, and this is for all the leather straps. Again, just being really careful now of all the colours we've already painted in so far. Next up, we need Lead Belcher for all the silver details. So this is things such as metal rings that we've got around here on the chest, but also... Th so, I think... Um... The problem I'm having on this miniature is that I painted the whole butt brown. Because I assumed it would be a thin coat. For some reason, it's a very thick coat. Now I'm having trouble getting that brown to go the heck away. We want not brown. This dark gray. Right? No, well, it's gonna have to wait until the paint can dry. But this guy is looking a lot better. 
and the paint is kind of dry. Very thin paint. I'm not But we are. Being patient, right? Patience is a virtue. Luckily, the undercoat is. Pretty gray as it is. So you're not going to really tell much the difference between the pants, gray of the pants. Of his, of the undercoat. So that's nice. And unfortunately, that makes it hard for me to tell whether I've even. So I don't like how fast he goes over all this. He's like, there you go. There's your brown. There's your uh, your cloth. Now we're on to leather. Like man. I haven't figured out what how to do the leather. See, the leather is a darker brown than the than the hide, and I don't remember if I used leather brown. I'm just gonna try. Just gonna try this oak brown um, to see if I can turn that leather. Make it leather. Shake it as hard as you can. We're going to just put it on our palette. I kind of wonder if I shouldn't have, because his brown does not look as dark as I think I might have used this. Oak. I should have used this oak. I think this is the same color. Very hard to tell. Very annoying. I should have like wrote it down basically. But did I? No. No, I did not. I want to take these, take this gray and put the good coat of this gray on everybody's pants. Boy, do I have a lot of gray. But it might be a good chance to let that gray dry because it's watery. Give it a chance to dry out. Go ahead and do that. I'm gonna let that dry out. Check on this brown. See if it can make my leather pieces <laughs> more brown. We'll see about that. I really don't know if it can. Because it doesn't look more brown. In fact, it looks like green brown. I might just be screwed. And I might just need to paint my other models a different brown.
We'll see. I might just need to take the uh, take a lighter brown and paint paint all the fur lighter brown. Wouldn't that suck? Yeah, on this one I did, uh, I left all the straps unpainted, and now that I'm painting it this dark brown, it is showing up as the same color. And, you know, I think it's just that this probably should paint your by the color that they say like oh leather brown let's paint leather leather brown but I'm painting this leather oak brown which kind of means it's gonna look like a tree right and it's gonna look like a tree Whenever I do, um, if I if I ever had a tree to paint, and I or you know logs or anything like that, and I painted them oak brown, well now they're the same color as my other strip. This is probably a problem I have um, all the way around because I. Uh, Like I said, I don't like how dark my stuff ends up being, but I feel like it's realistic. I feel like this dark brown color that is oak <laughs> should be the color of the leather. Maybe I'm just the only one who feels that way. I mean, I can't be the only one. Okay.
But then I complain that my models look too dark. Really, I'm just complaining that they're too light, and I'm complaining that they're too dark. Complaining all the way around. Full circle complaint. Anyway, we'll paint these ones like this, and then I can paint other ones in a different way. And I'll just have darker... I'll just have some darker ones. And that's fine, because... Not all goat men are the same shade, you know? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Sorry if that was hyper loud. Here. I think all these leather bits are more or less painted. Nope. Got the straps on the wrist. I was complaining about the straps on the wrists earlier. Because of the flesh. Flesh strap, flesh strap. Got all this brown out, so I might as well try to get the leather painted. I'll paint the boots on these big guys. I like a dark leather, but I don't know about that. I like dark leather. Or do I? I don't even know. I don't know what I like anymore. All I know is my arm is killing me. My arm. keep moving so much where I'm painting. Moving my posture and everything. Oh, 
There's never a good enough guide on how to paint these stupid things. Other people are painting the, the boots black. Hmm. 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 Where should the laces be? He's got clearly defined laces. Shoes. Did I say clearly? I mean annoyingly defined laces on these shoes. And I hate painting inside. I hate painting inside of legs. Gotta be the worst, most annoying thing to paint inside. For some reason these chaos blockers are not wearing any clothes underneath. Very interesting. No wonder you get injured sometimes, buddy. You're just wearing straps directly over your skin. I don't think that's recommended here for Blood Bowl. It's like a literal sport where they try to hurt you, buddy. I think I need a better detail. This is a very tiny strap. Tiny, tiny strips. Makes epic concentration to paint these tiny traps. Um, 
I don't know what color the highlights of the boots would be. Like the sole of the boot? Would that be lighter or darker brown? <laughs> Let me look at like leather boots. Le leather boots. They're like black with like brown bottom. Lighter. Being mostly lighter. Soles. Dark leather lights. Excuse me. Look at them. Fantasy leather boots. Leather boots medieval. They have like black soles. I don't know how accurate that is to real medieval times. Did they have rubber? They have black rubber? think so but I don't know so and so I will continue and see my belly is my shirt too small yes am I gonna change it never never If I did green souls. Maybe I can get some inspiration for packaging of the dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got a lighter brown and they got like white laces. Their soles? I don't know. Oop. Careful. Not sure. Hard to tell what that what their souls look like. Looks like they might have silver metal around the edges. I don't know. Definitely looks like a lighter. Lighter brown on the that's nice. I'm gonna be going back anyway. Okay. Well, are those left? Where's this metal? I'm always changing the position. Switching my position down here. Bum, bum, bum. Music seems really somber. 
chamber piano. They have black leather hands. Why did I do this? Why did I spend all this money on this hobby? I hate this hobby. I want to quit this hobby forever. So why did I get back into it? Why did I tell myself that I love this hobby? Why? I really want to get paid for this. I really don't want to do this as a hobby. Those leather straps, technically? I like them. Ridiculous. Spam my link. Okay, spam down my channel to three different, three different Discord chats. We'll see if they ever show up. Anybody from it? That'd be neat.
am seeing this brown paint it used. Kind of like the same with the green paint I had earlier. Yay, it's going down. I'm using it. Not going to waste. That's all I could ever ask for. Not being wasteful, is it? Feel like I'm really getting my money's worth out of this paint, you know? <laughs> Be careful not to paint over this part that I'm gonna want to paint lighter. This dark brown paint. Painting in these legs. Nothing ever. I should just do like just. Paint all of my miniatures between the legs, get it over with, and then I don't have to do it again. And then I could just focus on having fun. And all the other actually fun areas to paint. Wouldn't that be great? But no. Huey has to get all the colors done correctly while they're out on the palette. holy please never make me have to paint another leg just if there could, if there could be light in there I didn't have to paint up like through shadow and darkness it's the true darkness Trying to paint between legs, between feet. I feel like people who do this alone, they get to truly go insane. I mean, three hours in, I'm really starting to feel the insanity. I'm really starting to feel the, the loneliness. I have doggies here, but like, this is part of why I don't play single player games a lot. It's because it just feels like no one is there. It feels like I'm the only one in existence. I don't want that. I want to exist with people. This guy's belt. Big booty belt. There's literal crickets in this song. You know, maybe it's just the song. It's the lonely piano music. Turning me insane. Cricket, cricket, cricket. 
Is this supposed to be peaceful? Giving me an existential crisis. I'm alone in this world with just crickets. It is satisfying to paint a long leather strap that goes around the guy's body. Satisfaction. It's overwhelming. I could like go crazy and be like, oh, yes. Yes, that strap. Yes. The leather strap on this guy's chest. Oh. So good. So good. It really is. Is anyone ever going to see how good a job I did? In this lonely world. Hitting me. I messed it up. I'm coming off. I have to paint some layers over that. There's like this stupid tiny triangle you're just supposed to do a dot of brown on. Don't, it's gonna look stupid. I forgot to do it on this. Perfect. Perfect. Did I say perfect? Right. Paint those boots, buddy. We're going to paint the inside of those boots, and we're going to love doing it. So satisfying getting in, getting between those legs, painting, painting the inside of those boots on the inside of the leg where it's, it's really hard to see. Oh, I really like that. Favorite part. Not stressful at all. I totally see what's going on in there. And I know that it, that it looks great in there. And I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know why I stress out about it. Like, It's not like somebody's gonna go in there with a, a little scope and look up into the inside between the legs and see what's in there. I mean, they could. They could spot some bad painting, but I think that's forgivable. You mess up in that particular area. You're not like fired as a commissioner. You could just start pretending but these are professionally painted. Or like that I'm getting paid professionally. Better do a good job. Oh no, that's stressing me out more. Or, uh, it's okay, I'm getting paid to do this. 
Did I subject myself to this? Uh, no. I'm okay, obviously. That's why I'm doing this. It's hard, but it'll be worth it because I'm getting paid for this. Gonna run out of ground before I can get this guy's boots painted. What in darnation? Just wanted to paint your boots, buddy. Like we ain't gonna have enough. Got too big of boots. Too tall of an order for this kiwi. These boots were made for painting. That's just what I'll do. One of these days I'm gonna paint some boots all over you. I wonder if I do these back. Look at the upside down. right just as I suspected this guy Too bad looking belts, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Let's see if I hopefully have enough to paint this. Oh. Running very dry and thin. Meanwhile, over there, my little gray color is drying up. Looks like I thought it was like, oh, it's too wet. I'll give it time to dry. It's just dry. Well, husk. Let's try to get. coverage as possible. He's wet. Second most wet. Dressed. Get every little piece that we can. Hair stuck to it. This is really dark brown once it dries. That's okay. That's alright. Okay, let's wash our brush. See if we can get over there to that gray color and salvage that squirt.
Washing that brush, washing that brush. Washing me a good old brush. All right. Let's paint your little brown booty. This guy, first guy I was starting with. Load up this brush with paint. Getting real dry. Feel. No. I'm gonna blame the cat for hair that keeps getting on my brush and my miniatures. By the end of this model being painted, it's going to have so many layers on it. And I don't know how it's going to look. Be honest with you. Because I'm going to have to do a light brown on the fur. This dark brown on the fur isn't working out because it's the darkest brown I have. I mean, I like that dark brown, but now I've got no way to differentiate the leather. It was really dumb of me to paint this whole... To just slather the brown on. I really thought that that... that it was like such a thin coat that it wasn't even going to matter. Now it's like, it's so dark. It's so dark under there. I put two thick coats of brown like a dummy. Now I'm sitting here wishing I hadn't. Causing me to have to put secondary coats of gray. out all that brown. But it'll be alright, fellas, let me tell you. It's gonna look great. Okay? It's gonna be great. I'm a professional painter. I'm making money. painting these. Not really, but that's what I gotta tell myself. Or I won't keep going. They're really coming along. Spam out this guy. Go around to do this, Bob. Sorry, I was asleep. This guy is turning out way better because. I didn't paint his whole butt brown. Meow. Hi, kitty. How are you doing today? Meow. I still can't understand you. Day 700 of not being able to understand my cat. It really annoys me that like the base coat gray can't just be a color in your model.
Because like you paint it, and this gray that you're painting on top of the gray looks so much better. Guys, I mean. Of course you gotta paint between the legs. Don't let anyone know painting on the taint. If anyone sees a gray taint, they're just gonna be gone. So poorly painted. There you I don't know about you, but whenever I play Blood Bowl. I always check the taints. You gotta know if these guys are... Is that a gray strap? Why didn't you paint that strap, Zachary? Why is that strap gray? Um, you know, just cause. Okay, what am I painting here? Gray pants. painting gray pants. Got to use up all this gray, okay? Bum, bum, bum. I don't like how bulgy these characters' crotches are. Do I have to paint the bulging crotches? I don't want to paint the bulging crotches. Not leaving anything to the imagination. Gotta paint the taint. I hate painting gray because it's so hard to see sometimes. Gray on gray. I can't see that at all. Now, I think I want to go ahead and make these hands with gray. And why do they have fingerless gloves? They have gloves on. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna paint those green. Everybody's got green gloves on this team. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I forgot his belt. Don't forget the belt, boys. I'm gonna have such a fun time painting the flesh. <laughs>
in the tank. Boom, 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 boom. Don't forget to paint the bulge. <laughs> that bulge nice and lathered. If somebody would taint, paint my taint, paint my paint. If someone would paint my taint. tambourine action maraca action I don't know what this instrument is is this the hi-hat is that the drums what are those things called two little symbols that smash together on the drum set it's called a hi-hat Can't break my concentration. I'm busy painting a master. Never tell if the taint is getting painted good enough. That's why I'm going through with a second. Still a little dark. I'm gonna try to. 
trying, boys. We're trying. I think it'll really pop whenever we change the color of this fur. Once the fur gets a little lighter, then you can tell that the belt is a belt. Tell that the belt is brown. This is doing pretty good. This guy's bulge just looks like the undercoat. It's gray. I'm trying to get his bulge darker. I've been out riding fences so long now. Got enough of this gray left to paint these side guys. No, well, let me check on these. Oops, I kind of do. Hard to tell on this gray on gray action. Some of these little the butts are naturally highlighted. I like that. I have to do less highlighting. Less shading. He's still wet. Tell some drying a little lighter than my liking. spares. See, I've got three blockers and two goat men that I've been primarily working on. As I'm running out of color, these guys are kind of getting the shaft. They uh, got green on them so far. Now he's going to get a little bit of this cloth color. 
And, I mean, it's not really the way they tell you to paint them. They're like, oh, paint all the brown around the whole body first. Well, I ran out of brown. And I'm not going to paint an entire army of brown guys before I paint stuff. So, really, I mean, it might be a bad idea to, to not do... Um, because I'll have to go over and do touch-ups to remove all the brown that I accidentally get on these pants later. That's really what I tell you to do that. It's because there's going to be a lot of brown. You're going to be throwing brown everywhere. And then you're going to just paint over the brown with this gray. No. I don't have patience, okay? I'm bored. And I want to utilize all my paint and I don't want this little puddle of dark gray paint to go away so I'm gonna use it up okay might be a waste of time I might have to recoat it with more of this gray later but that's a risk I'm willing to take paint the paint Paint that bulge. Big slab. And I probably will have to do a detail brush on this, like. The belt loops. You have to paint the belt loops. Are you kidding me? Well, yeah. kind of necessary. We assume the armor stays on without some straps, but how the heck would this belt stay on with belt loops? How do belt loops work anyway? Belt loops hold the belt on. The belt holds the pants on. Seems impossible. Am I too low again? Is my camera falling or am I just slowly raising my... Raising and lowering the place where I... Oh. Did I forget to look over the... Off on his arm. A little brown around the back there. Good as he can. Cloth on the elbow. That's just sloppy right there. <laughs> Missed a belt loop here. Don't want to miss on a belt loop.
part of painting models like this is knowing what a thick coat of paint looks like and what a thin coat of paint. Oh, that's too thin. That's just going to dry and you're going to see right through it. I need to add a little paint to it. That's deep. This guy hasn't had any other paint on him. This is the first bit of paint he's getting. You feel lucky or unlucky? But probably unlucky. He's got no green, no brown, no fur. First thing you paint is my pants. Yeah, color I had spare. What oh, am I just a spare to you? Probably. The blood bowl works. I'm gonna be getting two journeymen on my next game. Two people who are injured. One of which is injured permanently, minus one strength. Thanks. But I gave him a random thing. He's got dirty player now. So I don't really know what dirty player means. Maybe reroll on a. You can look up what dirty player. Interesting. Or if somebody knows. I'm not a knower of things. Never used Dirty Player and I never imagined I would. But here I am, Dirty Player on a minus one strength guy. Yes, yeah, Blood Bowl. This is why I keep going lower, is I keep on scooting forward and doing this. And... I don't really care that much about precision on this elbow because this is a lighter color, really. And whenever I paint the brown of the skin, it's going to go right over this. So I don't really care all that much about messing up or throwing this in the wrong spot. Why I said the other one was sloppy. Well, it is sloppy because this particular section of the model is allowed to be sloppy. What it's not allowed to do is put paint on too thick and appear gloopy. You don't want that to happen, which is what I did. There we go. Use the brush itself to pull that a little bit of that. Oh. It is gold on that model. Got some more of this stuff left. I'm gonna go. I have so much stuff in my way. Oh, oh no. Different. I'm gonna go grab another couple models. Paint their pants. Look at my toe. I have a hole in my sock. I wonder how that got there. Would you happen to know how the hole in the sock got there, Coco? You you know anything about that? Coco doesn't know anything about that. Alright. Did I even paint this guy's Belt loops. 
Nope. Don't forget the bell loops. Imperative. Paint more pants. Might run out of paint on this guy's. <sighs> I'm running low on paint real quick. When it happens, it happens fast. The music gone? Forever? Gonna come back? Back music. Thanks for staying with us. You're thick and thin. I know you'll always be there for me. His arms got busy. Not enough paint for your elbows here, buddy. Sorry to say. Technically, there's still a lot of them. I'm on the tip of the brush. Out there. Brushing on now kind of takes away more than it gives, it takes away more than it gives. Right. But that's all we're going to get to have on these fellas. This guy. A little thin across the cheeks there, buddy. Oh, 
Don't worry, old Kiwi's got you covered. You guys talk to your models as much as I do? Okay. What should we paint next? This little guy just got his horns and feet needing to be painted. And of course, all that body mass of much too dark fur. Maybe when we highlight away on the fur, it'll come out looking beautiful. I don't know. Can't be sure. Cleaning my brush. All right. Gonna try the skeleton bone. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Look at this palette. It's a beautiful palette, right? Got brown, brown, green. Dark gray. It's getting everything used up. I might get all the horns painted on the whole army, depending on how this squirt goes. Nice bit of paint there. Let me check out. That's why that switch. Check out what he says about the things like belt buckles, and also don't forget to spot any little metal parts that you may have on the bottom of the hooves as well. Not doing metal yet, okay, pal? We're now ready to add some fist and red to the model for all the armor plating. No, we're this not. Color, you will need to apply two thin coats. And finally, use Zandri dust to base coat the horns and the hooves. Now that we've finished blocking in all those colours, we're ready for the next step, which is to add some shade to the miniature. Because what this is going to do is give some real depth to it and help those details stand out more as well. Now all, right. Going to... all right, sir. Let's see, before you started talking, before the transition. Transition. And finally, use Zandri dust to base coat the horns and the hooves. Boom. Oh. Zandri dust the base cut the horns, coat the horns and the hoop. Let's do it. All right. Gonna get it real close up here because I need to. Real close. Very hard to see. <laughs> But I don't want to like get anything else. Maybe that's too high. Then hmm. dust to base coat the horns and the hoo. These horns are dangerously close to the armor, so I have to be muy careful. And these horn shape is probably the most difficult horn shape to choose. As of the whirling pattern of the ram horn.
bring back the music and uh, I probably need a finer get under there because this brush is actually remember all the happy times we had remember all the happy times we had screw that brush too small or too too large let's look for something smaller this one looks quite small let it Try it. Um, actually, not that one. Let's choose. Remember all the happy times we had. Let's uh, choose this one. Let it. Try it. Got very few hairs in it. So that I can fit it behind underneath. Alright. I'll give you the truth. Getting in this tiny, tiny detail. Getting so close to the skull of the brush. Without painting the hair. That might just be, I might have to switch to a bigger brush after this set of horns. This set of horns is just, you know. Almost need a magnifying glass to see exactly where I'm placing the brush. Whatever I got paint under that. Good. This uh, white paint or skeleton bone really covers the other paint as well. So any of that brown stuff that was on there, not really on there so much anymore. It is drying kind of thin. So We'll check that out later. And we'll get this. How hard it is to be. I may have chose a way too small brush.
This will be kind of a detail brush that you'll want to use when you're doing the very final touch. And you don't want to touch anything. But it's not good for getting a whole thick, a good thick layer onto the horns. Horns, at the end of the day, they are kind of big. I am kind of grateful to have a small brush that can get in close to the skull there. But that's something I would have done at the end anyway, right? The detailing. I guess I'm just kind of doing the detailing now. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just taking a little bit longer to do these homes. Usually would. Because I have a, a brush with three hairs on it. You see this tiny thing? Maybe you don't because it's too far. Uh. Sorry, I'm not a usual painter. Ugh. <sighs> I'm just kind of grabbing a lot of paint, like way too much for this brush to handle. And <laughs> slapping it on and smoothing it out with this tiny brush. Really not what this tiny brush is meant to do, but we're making it work because we're kind of lazy. I might upgrade. Like the smaller brush here, but I like this one. right here. Just reaching those gray bits that are. Really hard to reach. I might need a darker yellow. Skeleton bone marker. In the mummy road. Okay, this. What I'm less okay with is looking at the back of this ear that didn't get painted brown. Really annoying, okay? Part of why this is the last step is because this is the on the hooves it's like a little bit of like the smallest detail that you're probably gonna mess up when you paint the metal on you might as well go ahead and paint I think that let's see him paint the let's see him paint Now that we've finished blocking in all those colors, we're ready for the next step, which is to add some shade to the miniature. Because 
That was it. Just like... See, he's gone up all the way up the foot there. Hard to tell what the heck is going on. This model, at least. See if I got a better model for the feet. Mm. Yeah, I could get Because of the square. A little square of metal indicator. Really, this is the final touches. Probably going to need to get back in with this cliff color after I butcher shop the The metal. We'll see. We'll see about that, won't we? Alright. Bigger brush. Dry this one off. We will use you soon, friend. Thank you, Mike. On the horns. This might be thick enough, but it's very short. Hmm. Oh. Is this one actually smaller than my Citadel? Or not Citadel? Yeah. It is. Army Painter War Paints. That's what that's what that brush was. All right, a little bit wet, a little bit dry. A little bit of paint. kind of paint these uh, horns as metal covered there. Right there at the tip. In fact, it kind of looks like that is what it is. Metal. But what do I know? A whole lot of nothing. Certain sure. Used to have a friend who said that a lot. Certain sure. Guess it's for certain and for sure. Get that one. We'll give him a check out later.
going around these Kirby horns. A little bit harder than I expected. I didn't really want to make it harder on myself, but I liked the curly horns. Man to do. You gotta do what you gotta do. You want curly horns in your life? You gotta slap them on. And I did. I did get the horns exactly how I wanted them. It was five in the morning, so who's to tell if that's how I really wanted them, though? I was in it. I was in a state. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. That horn is literally touching the armor. It's going to be like impossible to paint under it. <laughs> That's alright, mama. That's alright with me. My mouse is interrupting my little factory. You might not have heard Coco snoring. He's chosen to sleep just outside of camera. Which is what I would I don't want to be caught sleeping on stream. It could happen if, with all the streams that I do, like these little 24 hour streams, and especially the 30 hour stream. Very possible to fall asleep to a long, long stream like that. I can't believe I made it harder on myself by choosing the hardest horns to paint. But they look the coolest. So, there will be no doubt. My horns are the coolest. The coolest horns in all the land. A guy in the, the Blood Bowl Discord channel said. I had a corn uh, team. I won a corn team in a raffle. It was primed, or yeah, assembled and primed. I shake my fist at that guy. Technically, I've got mine assembled and primed. It just took me six hours. And he just needed to win a raffle. Jerk. But, he also paid to get into those events, I think. He deserved it in that raffle. He deserved to win that thing. Looking good, Mr. Horny. Yeah, one of my one of my team members is named Horny. He's the one that got brutally injured last night. Minus one strength. Um, maybe once I number them, I will find out which one is Horny, and I'll like put his arm in a cast or something. Kind of ambitious. Don't think I'll do it. But he earned SPP, and now he has Dirty Player. 
but I need to like I want to give give my guys some personality. Just don't know what to do to really make him stand out as a dirty player. Maybe just uh, paint him brown. A little. He's dirty. Covered in mud physically. You know what dirty player means? Still haven't looked up what dirty player means. I rolled randomly and got it. And the guys at the door said that'd be the only good skill to get on a strength two player. Apparently so I can do some fouling, but I mean I'm not a guy who wants to go for fouling. Unless I just see Like it's the first half and I have a guy on the ground. I might go for it. Little going for it. Never hurt anybody. Sometimes it did actually. Sometimes you get thrown off the field. I have all of these goat men in various states of dress, but all of them are going to have horns painted, that's for sure. Certain sure, I was about to say that again, but I did not. Yeah, this is good enough for the detail brush. I don't need a, a tiny, tiny brush like that. Not yet, anyway. When you absolutely certain have the perfect stroke. These guys need that. Getting all their horns done though. Yeah, he's proud. He's proud to be on the horny chaos team. I need to go find get the rest of my guys out. Right. Paint they're all paint all their horns. While I do that, I think I'll also take a quick bathroom break. All right. 
BRB, my quest beckons. Kiwi number seven. Said BRB bathroom break. Are my alerts not even on this? Thing for another time. My loyal hounds. Everywhere I go. Okay. Two more dudes to paint with horns. It's so. out. And then I gotta paint their hooves. Don't forget the hooves. Amazing how small this little dot of paint is and how far it can go out. Oops. Get that hand and thinned out that entire side. Bless my soul, Earth was on a roll, I'm defeated. Why does this music seem so somber? Probably put Colonel Spike to sleep, that's where he went. Newsy.
hate painting these horns. I love painting these horns. I love painting. I love spending six hours on a Saturday. Making my little cuties all painted up. Isn't that just the nicest thing? There's nothing better you could be doing than making sure your, your players are all painted up. Nothing at all. Missed a spot pretty bad. We'll just touch up their horns. After. I don't really like doing these hooves because I'm pretty sure I'll mess them up and then I'll uh, really need to redo them, you know? But that's okay. I've got this paint here and no one's going to tell me how to do it. I'm going to do it myself. I think for the most part the hooves are clad in metal. In betweenest of parts is actually Got 
very hard to see, especially when this hoof is in the shadow. Here come. Two. The Hoof of Shadow. I mean... Touching by the picture. Fields workshop, games workshop, and paint. Only really that part of the hoof. This model kind of has like where my super glue touched his foot and he's like smushing it up on that one side but I could paint it brown and it would be him running through the mud. No one would ever know but me and the people who are like is that a smush of a Yes, yes it is. So impossible to see under this hoof. It's actually impossible to even paint at that angle. Sure, here. Yeah. All right, we're going to attempt it. Angles that remain unpainted. I want to see the paint on a uh, need like a microscope, microscopic pin camera to get in there, needle camera, get under there and see whether that's painted or not.
I enjoy painting these well. Promise I do. I lie to you. I am going to be very happy. It's all said and done. And these guys look amazing. I will just ecstatic. Be the happiest little boy. I hope I don't like get into I get my models done here and then I take them to the store and then like you get in a different lighting and you can see all these flaws in it. Wouldn't that be terrible? That'd be terrible. Maybe if I just turn this into a 12 hour paint a thon stream. I can actually get my, my models. What a strange angle to have to paint in. I'm doing it. a little bit sloppy with these hooves because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to touch them up later. And um, for one, and for two, I think that the uh, the brown is going to cover up this hoof color as it goes back around to the fur. Whenever I put the fur on the hooves or above the hooves, I should say. And then this color won't work. Oh, there you go. Got all of the hooves. Got all of the horns. More or less be done with that color altogether. My phone is vibrato. Vibrato. Crazy good Mexican food. What is this? Is not piano music. <laughs> Flashback. Asia. Okay. Let's clean off this brush. We don't need this no more. I mean, maybe I should just check. Get another coat on the hooves. Live 3D hard. 
said I was promised doggies. There are there's doggies. Well, they're laying right under the camera. How are you doing today? Earlier they were laying off to the left of the camera. How are you doing today? Uh, I think if you followed the a certain link, uh, you were promised that we would watch paint dry today. That's exactly what we're doing here. Painting miniatures. Watching them dry. Second coat on these little hooves. Where's Coco? Coco, come from your nest. I promise you, um, nothing. I promise nothing. Just come here. <laughs> Lottie is <laughs> crawling out from under the camera. <laughs> fat dog, fat dog, fat niggity dog. That should be enough to make Coco just to be honest. But she's very tired. She's been running. all day. Live Freddy Hard said he be Kawidi Suna. Why this nay? With all your posts in the weeb chat, I think you've been uh, watching too much anime. Live Freddy Hard said, "Are these Warhammer figures?" These figures are from Games Workshop, so they're in the Warhammer universe, but they are specifically for Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl, the game of fantasy football. This is the Chaos Chosen Blood Bowl team, the Doom Lords, and they are goat people. And uh, I don't know, uh, Exodia dudes. They're into bondage. Um, mine are not going to be red like that. Mine are being painted green. And it's very hard to see because camera focus, camera focus, and all that. Dark green right now. I'm thinking of making it a brighter green. And on these two first ones, I really messed up and I made all of their fur really dark brown. That's the darkest brown I have. And so the brown leather straps are the same color as their fur. And that's, that's a mistake I'm going to have to fix by painting over them. <laughs> so, um, I could just say Live screw that hard. for now. Said yeah we went over it before in my game classes for design reference. It seems pretty popular among designers. Blood Bowl is popular among game designers? Seems strange. I wonder if I should go for this flesh. I wonder if there's a little booklet that tells me the right. No, it's not. See, the, the beast men have fur all over them, but these guys have flesh. And I don't know what color to paint the flesh. Mostly because I've got this really orange looking tanned flesh. And I've got this also kind of orange looking barbarian flesh. And I've got this to the point of yellow looking elven flesh. Live pretty hard. Said blue flesh every time. Blue flesh. <laughs> I can't. I think elven or maybe barbarian flesh is what they're looking for. And I really want to get these guys painted a little more because these are the strength four. They're like extra strong. And so I want these guys to be the most painted model that I have. Um, if I don't end up painting all of these guys today. 
I did have enough uh, enough of that white stuff to paint all the horns so on every one of them. Each character in a different flesh for inclusive ethnicities. Technically, I could. I could do because I've got elven flesh, barbarian flesh, and tanned flesh. And I could do. Monster Brown? <laughs> but we'll try Barbarian Flesh first. See how that works. If it looks good. Beat it like a stepchild. Otherwise it's going to be watery as hell. That is peachy. That is peachy looking. Live Freedy Hard. Said LMAO that's not very nice XD. What's not very nice? If this barbarian flesh looks like crap, then I'll make a monster brown. Okay. Big brush. I had this really, really tiny brush, which I need to just cover it up and send it home because I'm not going to use it. So I need like so fine a detail that I, I'm not allowed to touch any other part of the mini. Um, these guys with the cool blades on the side. I really thought about making this little horn that he has. Like, uh, it's not. It's, it's it looks like it's supposed to be a blade. And it's even painted that way, I think, in the box. But could make it say that it's made out of horn. You could make him a unicorn. <laughs> this is really watery. Live Freedy Hard. Said Rhino Man. Rhino Man. This is gonna be gonna use my big uh, rhinoceros. Yeah, you can also when you play Blood Bowl, you can like name your each team member. So I could call him Unicorn. Is gonna need a lot of layers of this paint. The paint over this gray. Very, Live free de hard. Very light. Said unicorn is cool. Paint his armor in rainbow. <laughs> that would be cool. Put little rainbows on him. He's the unicorn. But my team is made of a. Uh, these beast men and these. Chaos Chosen Blockers, and I named them Beauty and the Beasts. And so this is going to be Beauty. Uh, I've got another one called Beast. I got to play last night. I didn't use any. I didn't use these miniatures. I used my Lord of the Rings miniatures to play last night, and one of my Beastmen named Horny. He got injured. Very sad. He's gonna miss the next game, and when he does come back, he's gonna have like minus one strength. He's gonna have two strength. He's gonna be like the strength of a goblin. Very sad. This stuff is going to take a lot. Maybe once it dries a little bit. It can be a little more useful to me. So splotchy. Splotch. Okay. 
guess the easiest thing Live to do. Live 3D hard. Said okay I'm bored now Emma play league. <laughs> Live 3D hard. Said good luck. Alright, good luck at league. Thanks for stopping by. This, this is too wet. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> but. I'm going to use leather brown. I mean. Or should I use Monster Brown? I think I might try Monster Brown. Fur Brown, Monster Brown, Leather Brown. Monster Brown is definitely too light, I think. Let's see. I think it's supposed to be like that's the monster skin color. Just go with this instrument. By putting this monster brown on the on a walker. It's a lot more dry, so it's looking a lot better. I like the color of this flesh. The monster brown kind of looks more better than tanned flesh. I think I like it better than Barbarian Flesh. Barbarian is so neat. Weird. But we'll see. I'll do one in Tanned, one in Monster, and one in Barbarian Flesh. They should all be uniquely colored that way. Because they will be uniquely colored. Although they're probably chaos yeah, chosen or like the same same race. The same environment. It all pretty much look the same, I would think, but they're also chaos. Well they could be blue. <laughs> I guess I don't know much about the lore, so I shouldn't say. I don't know what chaos means.
I mean, this monster brown does kind of look like a guy who has a skin condition. Jaundice. He's a little yellowy looking. Skin does not look healthy. Probably does go nicely on Cooper Reasons. Is really coming together. The details he's got on. Almost out of gray colors. Tiny brush for details. And I kind of really like this color. Still haven't seen the color of this pink, pink fella. Kind of a bright pink. Maybe while I got this monster brown out, I will. Pink this skin. I need to write down, or I forget, what colors I'm painting things. Okay. Blood Bowl Painting. Chaos Walkers. In. Monster Brown. Leather, straps, oak. Boots, oak, brown. Cloth, what is that color? Dark stone. Beast men horns skeleton bone and straps oak 
crown. That's all the color I've put on them. Let's try fur brown. Question. Um, I don't really know why this guy, why this brown is called monster brown. It's like a tan. I don't know what monster they painted brown with this stuff, but sorry to say, you look like a white guy. Maybe in different lighting too. I don't know. Like I said, I, I would hate to like get to the store and then see that uh, my miniatures just don't look the same in the store lighting. That would be crazy. It would be crazy. This brush is getting worn out, in the tip at least. have the guts to paint this guy's really tiny parts uh, flesh colored because none of the other stuff is painted on him so feels like it just gives me the, the honors go ahead and paint that stuff all over him I 
it won't matter because I get other parts I can paint over it. I'd really like to know what color I am supposed to paint this guy. I really don't like Barbarian. Way too pink. That just squeaked, right? But you, but you get. No. Painted the taint. Spritz of cat hair in my paint. Brought on by the wind. Green sleeves.
We could try this. brush to avoid the traps of the hairs. Try this pink bar pinkish barbarian flesh again. This, I guess it's just so watery right now that it is uh, sticking, going into the crevices. It's barely even filling up the model. It's like only painting the, the crevices. That I'm looking for. <laughs> so needs to dry. I'm still liking that monster brown color a lot better than this one. Well, I can see the appeal of this one. It is more pinkish. But it's like a white guy that's not even tanned. Pretty strange that you haven't tanned. You just been working out indoors. Um, Blood Bowl takes place outside. I think. Like finding a white gladiator. Untanned. And I wish. Oh no, wrong color. <laughs> well, looks like I'm gonna have to paint a monster brown then. I'm gonna paint this. Sure. Very pale, almost yellow colored on the box.
these guys so much muscle. Them. This seems like another one of those things. This is like this is definitely be the final touch. Not something that you're doing before other things. But you know what? I don't care. I do what I want. Clip that and put me on it later, and I'll just be like, I'm, I should have done it in order so that I didn't have to repaint and repaint and repaint constantly. What did I want to do? Repaint and repaint, repaint, repaint. And I signed up for whatever I chose. All the fleshy parts, all the other parts. I stuck my big brush in there, paint it over, that's it's already been painted, that's what I was asking And I got what I was asking for, didn't I? Yes siree! Cat hairs, man. I can't live with this cat anymore. Free cat, who wants it? Sounds like a something you hear in a pet food commercial. See all the pets running around. Guys, really come together. Got the green, got the brown, freaking zoom. Green, brown skin. Once that metal is painted metal color, done really close to done with the base coat, the main with the main colors.
doen. Dat ook ik doen. Daar is een pink guy. I was just about to say, I paint kind of chaotically. This guy randomly just only has his skin colored. But I'm painting chaos. So that's fitting. For the chaos team. Okay, I think I'm done with the big brush on the flesh. You know, I might just go ahead and make them all this monster brown color because I like it so much. But I don't know, kind of owe it to that guy to make him close to humanish. <laughs> He's got the gray splotches in his pink skin. Okay, I think I'm gonna go.
Lots of paint, a little out of time. Such exquisite detail. Yes, thank you. I love the this Zachary. You've done such a good job. Yes, I know. Thank you. right here except right there yes it's terrible looking right here you try to get into that tiny little corner with a tiny little brush of with a tiny little piece of paint I have this masterpiece created You're right that is a masterpiece Must retire out of shame. The personal goal of becoming the world's Best Warhammer painter officially done. Oh, I feel this music is music is steering me toward melodrama. What color do, the, do you paint the hair on these things? That's what I want to know. Who pulls a paintbrush out like that? Gee. Hold it at like perfect angle in order to get this tiny, tiny brush in there. Tiny dot of paint.
goodness, that bicep is almost entirely unpainted. What would we have done with an unpainted bicep? Trying to get a single dot of paint onto his nose. Paint those nipples. What color should I paint the nipples, guys? Bright red. Silver. You could have a, a nipple piercing. This is why we use a flesh wash to be honest.
gonna get a little stab straight into his little torso there. This is what a flesh wash is for. But I really want to make sure there's no gray on the flat surface. I'm literally painting a lot of crevices right now that I shouldn't have to paint because of the existence of the flesh wall, but I don't really trust that for the colors of this paint set kind of they kind of make me go e oh. one's looking pretty good. Using the very last drop. Okay. 
Let us switch to silver. Please, begging. Actually, really got to do this guy justice, don't I? I got to do you justice, little guy. Got to keep trying to paint your stupid pink skin. Skin is so light, I think that it needs a white base. You're gonna be painting type of model. Still not really going into the... Oh. <laughs> Still just like going into the crevices and refusing to stay on the, the high end of the miniature, you know? Probably out there screaming. You have to use a dry brush. That model will never be pink. up all the nooks and crannies with pink. Lord. Painted over an entire strap. Oh no. 
trying to wipe it off, I wiped off all the ink paint that I had on the dang thing. All the stuff that actually successfully made it on just got away. Ooh, I am hating this guy. Hating. Anyway, uh, give me Ugh. Didn't look bad. But I think I like these guys way better. Look at how tan they look. This guy's looking too white. And not even that, it's just how difficult that paint is. Through that paint, man. color silver shining silver plate mail metal or gun metal Plate mail metal. My muscle. Does it say what the chaos? Nothing shows these guys from behind and what color their hair should be, you know? And I hate that. Because they have these big tufts of hair. But the blockers. Beastmen kinda see their hair and stuff, but the blockers have like a big blob on their back. On the back of them. Big blob of air. I like plate mail. 
Yeah. Okay, please work. Well, let me see. See how this guy do. Now that we've finished blocking in all those colors, we're ready for the next step, which is to add some shade to the miniature, because what this is going to do, use Zandri dust to base coat the horns and the hooves. Now that we've finished blocking in all those here on the chest, but also things like belt buckles, and also don't forget to spot any little metal parts that you may have on the bottom of the hooves as well. We're now ready to add some Mephiston Red to the model for all the armour plating, and with this colour you will need to apply two thin coats. And finally, use Zandri Dust to base coat the horns and the hooves. Like he missed the... Now that we've finished blocking metal all those rivets. colours, we're ready for the next step, which is to add some shade to the miniature, because what this is going to do is give some real depth to it and help those details stand out more as well. Now we're going to use two shades in this miniature. First of all, Agrax Earth Shade, which will paint all over it. It's an ideal shade for all the colours we've been using so far. But then we're going to... I don't care. I, I, I ended up looking at the <laughs> Chaos Blocker guys, and they have... these things are metal. And... I don't really care about the rivets individually, like a little dot or anything. So we're just gonna start. We're gonna pray. Steady hand. Here we're attempting to paint all of the metal bits without disturbing the green bits.
takes a very steady hand. Lord Almighty, what is that? Problem is the metal flakes that come off. You're trying to wipe it. Wipe it away, they still end up. in there anyway. Ah, but holy moly. Okay, I'm going to try to use my end up clean this actually got lens cleaners lens wipes Let's see if we can use them eh <laughs> that's alcohol makes me cough every time Cat hairs refer to come, refer, refuse to come off. The heck, you can do it. Rotate the. Hey. I don't know which side. Not the. film on it. That's a lot better. Okay. So this should help quite a bit. Being lit up. Help also. But you guys might not be able to see much of it.
takes a lot of concentration. Maybe if I'm not. Deeply concentrated on this crotch plate. This little mandolin type thing going on in the background. Oh, lack of patience on my part. Looping up this thing pretty badly. Not like glooping, but you know, putting.
Coco, hush. I have to stop my dog. Being a jerk. Feeding doggies. I hope that's the only responsibility I'm supposed to be paying attention to. Feeding the cat as well. Where was I? Painting the arm guard of this guy. Painting the four individual sides of these spikes. Kind of crazy. A little bit of this silver paint goes a long way, though. Happy for that. After I get these, after I use as much silver paint as I can, I'm gonna have 
get off of here and go to dinner. an intense procedure. I don't want to waste that silver plate. Might just spend an hour painting silver. And various pieces. Almost done with this fella. Got an arm guard and that middle ring, and I think that's it for the silver pieces on this guy. Same song again. Luckily, the underside of this wrist guard is silver, and I've seen it be silver, so... Very forgiving in that manner. do right-handed painting, can I? Oh my, I cannot. Not that great. I'm doing a pinch. I guess I was, yeah, I'm trying to get under the air, huh? That's going to be hard to reach, isn't it? <laughs> I'm losing my own focus. Now I see how. Okay. And my... Uh -huh. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness gracious.
somewhere else where there's like a metal ring, right? Where is it? Metal strap. I didn't think of it. Okay. Oh no, it is right. Like I wanted to paint it um, the same color as the belt loop, but actually like a metal ring connects to the plate armor. Well, that's cool. Whew. All right. Came off. something in my eye. Probably the paint. Mm -hmm. I wonder why he has this big sword on his shoulder. I guess it's a shoulder guard, not a sword. Really? That's a shoulder guard. You keep bothering me with whatever it is you're eating. Constantly making me worried that you're doing on something you're not supposed to. But mommy's not here, so I guess I have to chew on that, whatever that is. I won't tell if you won't.
Well, he's just going to have to be old Silver Arm for a long time. Why don't you paint my card face? All right, I will. Make it stop. Make it stop. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm losing concentration. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm missing paint, but I feel like it's somewhere on this model. Oh well. Wow. Oh well, I say. I am more or less 
pleased with what I have accomplished today. And I'm getting off of here very soon. You devil. That's what it looks like this. Uh, at least I think that is. How should I know? Ugh. A little bit this way. <laughs> Always blocking this much of my friggin' screen. I don't know. Oh, hi, Lottie. Whew. I'm a very tired boy. Been streaming for seven hours. And even before that, I was up. Driving my biddies. Um. Here's the result. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Notice me. Notice me, Senpai. Notice me. Notice me. <laughs> he doesn't want to be noticed. He's too blurry. But that is him so far. Oh! Him so far. Oh, stop focusing on me. <sighs> oh well. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. I made some progress. I've got some guys almost fully painted. I've got some brown goats. I've got a bunch of goats with horns. I've got guys with colors. <laughs> Happy with the result for this seven hours. Uh, I mean, I had hoped to like, hey, I've got 12 guys. Maybe if I'm lucky, it takes an hour each to paint them. And that's 12 hours. I don't think in the next five hours I'm gonna have eight beast men and three more or two more. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of could with how quickly you can paint them. Technically, once you get all that brown down, there's not a lot left to paint on the goat people. Brown, green, and finishing touches. So maybe I could do it in 12 total hours. But I'm just gonna have dinner. I need my food. Ugh. So, good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. See you all later.